Hello and welcome to a new tutorial by Binary Lunar. In today's video, we will show you how to create a dashing curvy line shader graph. With this shader graph, you can control the number of dashes and you can control the fill of this line in addition to the color and the width. This is useful for creating a level map for your video game when the player completes the first level, then showing him that he progressed to the next level. This is Rams Al Taba from Binary Lunar and let's get started. Let's start by creating new Unity 2020 project using the Universal Render Pipeline template and let's name it Dashing Line Shader Graph. Unity will start with a default sample scene, but I want to create new 2D scene, so let's create new scene and let's name it Level Map. To create the curves, we will need the BG Curve Asset, which is a free asset from the Unity Asset Store. I'll provide the link to download that from the description, so go to Window, Package Manager, then install that package. After that, I downloaded a random level map from the internet to use in this tutorial. Just make sure that the texture type has been set to sprite so you'll be able to drag that to your scene. To create the dash texture, let's go to Photoshop and create a new project with 512 width and 128 height. Then let's Fill the background with black so we can see what we are drawing in white. Select a hard rounded brush, then simply draw a simple dash by holding shift to give you a straight line. Make sure that to give some space in the top and the bottom and from left and right. Then don't forget to delete the black background before exporting it as PNG, which is a mistake I've did while recording this video. Now let's create new shader graph by clicking on create shader universal render pipeline and choosing sprite only shader graph. Now let's sample the texture we created by a sample texture to the node and create new property texture 2D and name it main texture. Let's bring the texture we created and link that to the sample texture 2D. Next, we want to control the number of dashes in the line and the best way to do that by creating a tiling and offset node and determine how much we want to tile the dash which will represent the number of dashes. So after creating tiling and offset node, let's make a vector too because we want to do only the tile on the X while keeping the Y the same, then create a new float, name it tiling, link that to the vector2, then link the vector2 to the tiling. Next we want to mask the dashes and the way to do that by creating a rectangle node which will represent our mask and then move that on the x-axis to cover the dashes. Then set the value of the rectangle to one on the width, one on the height. And the way to offset the position of the rectangle is creating also again the tiling and offset node. Then we need to create the filling value float. And to avoid getting undesirable values, we can set the float to be a slider between minus one and one. Zero means we can totally see the dashed line, which means the white rectangle. When we reach the value 1, that means the rectangle has been offset totally to the right and that will remove uh, the dashes from being visible. So after creating the filling value, Let's have a vector 2 because we want to do the filling on the x axis only. Then link the filling value to x, set the y value to 1. Then link the vector 2 to the offset. And now as you can see we can control the masking rectangle. Then re multiply the rectangle with our dash using a multiply node. Then simply to control the color of our line we add a new property, a color property, let's name it 
uh, maybe line color or leave it just color then multiply the color property with the final result using a multiply node you can choose any random color to check that the coloring working perfectly and finally link the last node to the base color and to get the transparency of the dashes or around the dash we split the final node using split node and connect the alpha to the alpha on our shader master on our master node now let's save the shader and create new material to hold our shader so create any new material then drag the shader graph on it then to create the curves we'll use a new asset that we imported so right click in the hierarchy create other and choose bg curve we will use the line renderer to render our dashing line so on the same game object the bg curve add a new component line renderer then in the materials section add the new material we just created after that to sync between the line renderer and the bg curve go to the bg curve component select the components tab click add slide down to reach the cc line renderer to make a synchronization between our line renderer and the bg curve now we can start drawing our curves by holding ctrl shift and clicking in the scene let's draw some points that matches the road in the background we have created or imported as you can see if we want to create a corner it's called absent if we want to make it a curve bezier symmetrical once you made the point bezier symmetrical each point will have two handlers to control how curved is the line so experiment with those till you get the desired curve set the filling value on the material to zero so you can see the dash or the line now it's one piece i mean it's one dash so to control how many dashes as we said we increase the tiling value to represent how many dashes you want to see on the line but we have final issue which is we can't see the line in the game view it's only visible in the scene view to enable that just enable the 2d mode from the pg curve you can also control the thickness of the line by adjusting the width value on, on the line renderer and finally we can control the filling value to, to animate the dashing line to make it moving from one point to another this value can be controlled by a code or by the animator to save the time let's control it by an animator so let's add an animator here then from the animation tab let's start recording at the first frame set the filling value to 1 and maybe on after 2 seconds or more set the value to 0 click play and now you will see the dashing line moving toward the next point now if you click play the animation will run endlessly but if you want to run the animation once we click on the animation that we created then we uncheck the loop time so the animation run once and that's it for today's video looking forward to see this dashing curved line in your video games if you found this video useful don't forget to hit like subscribe and the notification bell so you keep updated by the new videos we are really grateful to all the supporters on Patreon who keeps encouraging us to publish quality contents. And remember, by becoming a patron, you can download all the projects which has been shown on our channel. Till next video, see you soon.